What is up everybody, Steve here. Look, I've had a lot of people reach out to me because they are interested in buying vacation rental properties. So they're asking a lot of questions in terms of what they should be looking out for and everything else. So I'm doing my best to basically answer a lot of these questions uh, through different videos on this channel, but also I've had people inquire specifically in Florida. So I'm gonna go through basically my personal goal for a vacation rental uh, investment portfolio. Look, I love vacation rental properties for the mere fact of you can make money on these properties and you can utilize them for you, your family, your friends, and, and clients if you guys are in business for yourself. So there's a lot of added advantages with vacation rental investment properties over your traditional just leasing out you know multi-family properties or single family properties on an annual basis to a tenant so um, today i wanted to talk about my own personal goals and before we jump into that i i highly encourage you guys this is something that i do all the time I'm always writing out my goals. I have a, a book that, you know, maybe one day we'll flip through it and show it to you guys. But it's a book that, you know, I'm printing out pictures. I'm writing in there. I'm writing out income and expenses. I'm reflecting on certain projects that I'm that I've done or that I've sold or that I'm currently interested in doing. And it's funny to reflect on that book because um, I, I, I change my mind on things and I think that there's nothing wrong with that either. It's not like I'm giving up on something. It's just I prioritize things in my life and uh, especially with real estate projects because I'm, I get really excited about different projects and, and different vacation rental investment properties as well, which we're going to talk today about some, some of my interest in Florida. Uh, as well as some properties I own in Florida and then other properties outside of Florida and even outside of the country that I'm looking at. So let's go ahead and jump into this. So in Florida right now, I only have two properties. Um, I have sold other properties and I freed up a lot of capital because right now I think that the real estate market is fairly high. So I wanted to free up a certain amount of capital in order to go ahead and reinvest into other projects. So currently right now, I have a, uh, a condo on Bonita Beach that we do a vacation rental property on. I actually have it on the market for sale right now as well. Um, that property specifically is my homestead, but I also lease it out three months of the year. So I want to make sure that with that property, um, you know, it, it, it that, that property doesn't, doesn't necessarily make sense to stay in a vacation rental program because it is a 30 day minimum requirement, meaning the association rest restricts um, how much we can rent that property out per year. So it's only 12 times per year. I like properties where it, you know, three day minimum, maybe seven day minimum, maybe max 10, 14 day minimum. Um, and I did another video on that. So be sure to check that out in terms of rent restrictions. I talk more in detail about that. Um, so that property I may or may not sell depending if I get my number on it. That is a property that I'm no longer going to rent out regardless. I'm going to stay, stay in that property. Um, if you saw the other video on the Fort Lauderdale property, we got a condo over there across the street from the beach and currently they are not allowing any rentals on that property. Now, um, I did another video on that so you guys can see that video as well. But uh, that property, I think I got a steal on it. And this is why you need good real estate agents to work with in specific areas. Because that property, you know, I signed up with the MLS on that coast so I can do my own searches and everything else. And uh, it's not far. It's an hour and a half drive for us. And that property specifically was a, in a 55 plus community. They converted into an all ages. And when they did that, I think a lot of local real estate agents didn't know that that did change. Now, also I knew from doing my due diligence and research that they were in the process of changing from no rentals allowed to allowing rentals. And I think that that is going to change. Um, worst case scenario, I figured if it didn't change the amount of improvements I'd done to the property, um, I can still flip it for a good profit, which may happen. Um, but right now we're just waiting to see what happens with the next board meeting, if they're gonna allow uh, rentals on that. 
Moving forward, um, I got another video on shipping containers. Another goal of mine is, you know, to help out people that are interested in buying kind of Airbnb vacation rental properties, but are on a budget. So I'm going to do a whole series on that and I uh, have a couple videos that you guys want to check out on that. But basically I'm in, on the search right now for some land in Bonita Springs. Um, basically the land that I'm looking at are 1.25 acre parcels. And that land, um, we we already got confirmation that we're going to be able to put a shipping container. Now the land, I'm hoping to try to get for around 80 grand. The shipping container built out, I'm hoping to be under probably 30,000 with everything. And then there's permitting, hookup fees, and everything else. So I'm hoping to be all in for under 150 grand on that project. So I'm going to bring you guys through that project as well. So that is something that we're currently working on right now. Um, another area that I really like is Naples, North Naples Market. There's an area called Naples Park. It's broken up into certain blocks. The 500 block is pretty much the closest to the beach where you can still walk or ride your bike or whatever the case is. So the rental capability there for the single family or even multifamily properties are really good there. They rent out really well. Um, I don't believe that there's any uh, minimum day on market, meaning you can rent it even one day if you wanted to, which I don't necessarily uh, suggest doing. Uh, another area, Marco Island, I think the community is called South Seas, and there's another community I've been looking at over there as well. Marco Island is basically south, south Naples, south of Naples. Uh, very, very cool area out there. Uh, it's more laid back, more relaxed, but uh, beautiful beaches. And uh, there, there's definitely a lot of potential there. Um, also look in the Upper Keys. And if you go a little bit further, just south of Fort Lauderdale is Hollywood. How that's situated is pretty cool. From our condo there, you can jump on the water taxi and you can go explore all Fort Lauderdale. But you can also get on that water taxi and go down to Hollywood. So the goal was if we can convert the... Fort Lauderdale condo into a vacation rental condo, block out a week or whatever the case is, stay there for a week, jump on the water taxi, go down to Hollywood, and then stay at a vacation rental property that we would own in Hollywood, Florida as well. So it's just, again, it's that experience that owning this type of real estate can provide you and your family um, and you can have a lot of fun with it and generate revenue from these properties as well. As long as you guys buy right, don't over leverage and so forth. Um, another area that we go to pretty frequently is St. Pete Clearwater Beach. Beautiful area up there. So that is another area that we have looked at in the past. Prices are a little bit high. I don't think the numbers make too much sense on a lot of the properties we looked at. And then uh, another area is Panama City Beach and the Destin, uh, Santa Rosa Beach area. Uh, my brother just picked up a beach condo up there. Beautiful area. He, uh, he got a really cool, cool property, a three bedroom, three bath on the beach. But it's, uh, and I'll talk about this in another video, but it's, it's set up almost like a multifamily condo. I've never seen anything like it before. And we'll talk more detail in that uh, video that I have in terms of um, creating an owner's section or owner's storage or an owner's unit within your vacation rental property. So be sure to check that video out as well when I'm done. Um, that's pretty much my goal in Florida. I would like to pretty much have a property in all these areas that I mentioned because again, it's, it's creating that lifestyle. And, um, you know, I think it's important if you guys set up your financial foundation from the beginning and you can create this kind of lifestyle and, and, you know, really create additional revenue and travel around. I think it would be really cool. I'm always trying to get out of Dodge and check out new areas. So this is just something I like to do. Um, other areas of concentration, Outside of Florida, Georgia, we're, I should have videoed uh, the, the whole situation up there, but we're in, uh, it's called Big Canoe in Georgia. Basically, it's a gated mountain and it's a, it's a resort. A lot of, they do a lot of weddings and everything else, but they have a marina, they have a, a nice clubhouse, live music, all that kind of stuff. And then they have really nice cabins up there. The problem that we're finding up there is the management fees are very high. Uh, most places are charging like 35 to 50%. So that might be a little tough. 
a uh, couple other areas, uh, Tennessee as well as Kentucky. Um, Kentucky, I'm looking at, there. there's actually acreage that's set up for RVs where you can you know, have a three acre plot on a lake fairly cheap and uh, put an RV out there. So <laughs> that might be a situation where we could drop like a tiny home and then you know, constantly rent that out and maybe separate a, another section for an RV for, for us to use and then have that as a, that little tiny home generating revenue. So that could be an option in the future. Um, I got some video, another video on Bimini. Um, be sure you guys check that out as well. We, uh, from Fort Lauderdale, so Bimini is pretty much right here. There's two islands, North Bimini and South Bimini. Uh, in the Bahamas, it's 50 miles off of the Florida coast. We took from our condo, we stayed there for like three nights, and then we took the it's called the Balleria um, Bimini Ferry. Be sure to check that video out. I'll, I'll make sure that I show you guys some of the footage and everything. So, we took that little Balleria crew um, ferry, which it's cool, it's got a couple bars on it, it's, you know, they serve food, all that kind of stuff. And it was a two and a half hour dry, uh, ride to uh, North Bimini. We stayed at the Hilton there. All it was an all-inclusive package, not food and drinks, but uh, round trip, it was cheap for the four of us. It was like under $800. And that was two nights in the hotel as well. Anyway, some friends of ours own on South Bimini. South Bimini is just pretty much all residential. There's like one little convenience store on the island. Other than that, it's all residential. But there's a lot of options in uh, South Bimini that I cover in another video as well. So be sure you guys check that out. And then um, Puerto Rico, uh, I'm, I'm interested in, um, you know, it's a little bit more of a hike. That's why I like Bimini because if we needed to get out there pretty quickly, we can jump on a boat, we can jump on a seaplane, we can jump on a regular plane. Uh, flights from Fort Lauderdale are literally like 25 minutes, so it's easier to get get to. Um, and then we could always use a buddy's boat if we needed to and just shoot over there in a timely manner. So that's why Bimini is interesting. But I think Puerto Rico has a lot of potential, but the problem is with these islands, uh, and the more research that I'm doing and the more people that I'm meeting is, you know, it's, it's harder to get contractors. It's harder to get material, especially with everything going on right now with the pandemic it's a lot more difficult than being in the states and having you know a Lowe's or Home Depot down the street. So those are things that I'm taking in consideration right now. But priority right, right now is going to be the shipping container on the land in Bonita. Um, also, I've been researching in the local market here, there, there's people in South Naples as well as downtown Fort Myers doing Airbnb vacation rental properties on their yachts. And some of them are pretty damn expensive. I was looking at one that was like $2,600 a night. And that doesn't move off the dock. It stays at the dock. So I started looking at some, some yachts as well. I mean, you can, you can get some badass vessel, vessels at a, a pretty fair price. So I started thinking about that as well as maybe another inexpensive way that people could get into a vacation rental property um, fairly cheap. So uh, I don't know. It's just another another thing that I'm looking at as well. Um, and any of this, I want to document and I want to bring to you guys. So it kind of just sparks some interest. Hopefully, get maybe get motivated by this. But uh, I can tell you guys, ever since I've really transitioned into uh, dealing more in vacation rental properties, I, I've I've had so much more joy associated with it. Yes, in most cases, you're not making as much money as if you bought like an apartment complex or a 20 unit apartment complex and you're getting a 10, 12, 15% cap rate. You know, you're, you're going to make more money, odds are, in that scenario. But, you know, this scenario is completely different. You're, again, you have the benefits of using the property, making money from it, traveling around, enjoying it, enjoying the lifestyle. And to me personally, I you know having a strong financial foundation, I don't need a whole lot to to be happy and to provide, and uh, you know it's it, you know 
you, you can, I can make a heck of a lot more money if I just strategically went all after, you know, multifamily properties with high cap rates. And, uh, you know, that's for me, that's not necessarily a, a goal of mine. I think this, this lifestyle that I'm creating here is, is a lot cooler and uh, I have a lot more fun with it. But I want to hear you guys, what are your thoughts on this kind of investment, this kind of lifestyle? Drop a comment below because it really helps me out. And if you guys have questions, drop, drop the question below because it helps me come up with more content to create and answer these questions for you guys. And uh, if you got any value out of this, I appreciate a big thumbs up. And uh, if you have other people that are interested in stuff like this or maybe a partner or whatever, share this video with them and I appreciate all the support. Thanks a lot.